Six days before this interview, Heidi Lachlan had an eight-hour operation. But here she is back home in Portishead, looking okay, well and full of energy. Yeah. How are you? I'm really well, thank you, considering that like six days ago I had like major surgery. Yeah, I feel, luckily, feel brilliant. The reconstruction surgery took place at Southmead Hospital in Bristol. Um, with inflammatory breast cancer, it is almost impossible for me, well, it's, I haven't found anybody else that has had this um, surgery with stage four inflammatory breast cancer because in dark terms, I suppose, most people have, have died by this point. Heidi Lachlan, a former Metropolitan Police officer, was 13 weeks pregnant with her third child when she was told she had the rare breast cancer. She decided to delay her treatment to give her daughter the best chance of survival. But days after she was born, Ali caught an infection and died. And Heidi was given a year to live. At that point... I felt really, really, really low. It's the lowest I've ever felt, and I never feel as bad as that. As long as my boys are fine, I don't think anything will ever be as bad as what happened. I basically started thinking, right, how can I change my mindset of, oh, everything's really dark and doom and gloom, and I've only got a year and blah, blah, blah. And I started trying to tell myself constantly, but what if you don't? What if they're wrong? Or what if you're going to be that person that carries on and on and on. More than six years later, she's still here. And for a long time, Heidi believed she'd never be able to have this sort of surgery. To know that this has happened, I mean, how is that making you feel? It was quite overwhelming and I had to do a bit of research myself because there's very little known about inflammatory breast cancer. And I spoke to an expert from America who said, well, based on everything and the miraculous turnaround that you've had, I think you should go for it. I was like, yes, that's what I need and I'm going to do it. And um, I think it might blaze a bit of a trail for other women in my situation to know that, well, actually, maybe that is a possibility. It gives everybody hope and encouragement because cancer takes away so many things from you. But to know that actually nothing is off limits, I think, is really important. Since her diagnosis, Heidi works as an inspirational speaker. She's a mum to her two sons, Noah and Tate, and she says she loves spending time with her friends. What is next for you? Um, I have to have another operation, um, a bit further down the line, much easier one. And then once all that's done, I'm just going to keep ploughing on with what I'm doing. Dwelling on it and being sad, and it is an awful thing, but dwelling on it and being sad about it all the time is not going to change it. It's still going to be there, but it's a choice on how you're going to deal with it. And luckily for me, I'm surrounded by people that have got the same attitude as me, which is let's just get on with it. We'll worry about something when we have to worry about it. A spirit she says has helped her come further than she could ever have imagined. And now she's looking forward to where it may take her next. Ellie Barker, ITV News.